guys i'm having my first ever meet and greet in new york city next week and i'm so excited to meet all of you so the exact date is july 20th and it's gonna be at a sephora i'll put the sephora address on the screen right here and it's gonna be from 12 to 4 p.m so you guys can come anytime between that time frame and i'll be there to say hi you don't have to sign up for anything and it's free obviously but it's to celebrate my new launch with glow recipe but yeah i'm so excited it's gonna be so much fun you guys i can't wait to see you all there and i'm so happy that it's in new york city because it's like my favorite city ever i'm actually so excited for this you guys i can't wait to like see all of you guys Anyways, guys, it's like 7 a.m. right now, which is the earliest I've been awake this whole entire summer because my mom is, like, making me go somewhere with her and wherever we're going is, like, an hour drive. Oh my gosh, I forgot sunscreen again. It's fine. I'm low-key, like, running late to remove everything from my face and restart. Guys, I was supposed to wash my hair yesterday, but I left it in again because the curls or the waves look so good. I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave it in for one more day. So I'm going to wash it tonight. Don't worry. But I feel like it's because my hair is always so straight that once it's in a different like hairstyle, it just like makes it look so good. But a lot of you guys said I could get like a crimper to achieve this like wavy beachy look. And I've tried those before, but I feel like they just don't look the same. Like it doesn't look as volumized at it as it does when you leave it in braids and take them out like a day or two later and then i also saw someone use like a really really skinny curling wand it was like this skinny and it like looked so good but it actually took her like a whole hour and my hair is pretty thick and i just don't have time to sit here for an hour guys it's actually so hot right now my whole entire like bronzer is melting because it's on like the side of my face okay i literally just had like a heat stroke but i did my lashes in that time being but guys fenty came out with like lip liners and new gloss bombs so i want to try it with you guys i already tried the gloss bomb it's like amazing it's so glossy but i want to try a different shade today the lip liner shade is number two and oh my gosh it's so sharp Okay, that's For the gloss foam, I'm using shade number one, which is called Blazed Donut, and I'm pretty sure it's just like a nudie color. Okay, not a huge fan of this color, so this was the one I really liked. It's called Is It Fussy? Tons are really pretty. Gonna go clean my lashes, but that's all. Bye, guys. My grandparents are taking me and Lila on this mini holiday in Wheelie today, so let's get ready. We're going for three days and two nights, I think. But it's just this cute little farm stay. So there's so many little baby animals. You got to feed them and do all of that. But I'm really excited because I love going on road trips. I know why. I've just always loved them. I mean, it's not too far. It's only three hours, I think. But a mini road trip still. I've had such a chill morning so far. I got to sleep in and do all that because they're not coming to pick us up until like 11 so we got so long you gotta trust the process with this <laughs> and then it looks good once it's all rubbed in um okay next i think i might add on a bit of my love tint there's still so much stuff i need to pack so i need to remember to do that still because i feel like i always get something every single time i go away i always get something i look like a clown <laughs> but that's okay once i blend it in it'll be all good Oh, I forgot to put on sunscreen. Oops. Mm -hmm. Should I put it over the top? I feel like I should. Although it's such a cloudy day, but you can still get burnt. I actually heard that you get burnt more when it's cloudy. This is going to look horrible once I rub it all in. That just got rid of everything I just did before. Oh, great. We're not off to a good start this morning at all. Okay, we're going to start from the start. I'm going to add a bit more of this though, and we're going to add too much on this. Okay, there we go. And now, back to blush. <laughs> okay, whatever we have going on here is going to have to work because I can't be bothered fixing any of that. <laughs> okay, so back where we left off. Now it's time to do my lashes. It's so hard to find, like, all my things when my makeup bag is just jammed with so much stuff. I'm thinking about buying a new eyes curl, like the same one, but this little, the part that you, like, clamp your eyes curl on, it's, like... I don't know, it's starting to break. But I don't know if you can just buy that part singularly because this eyelash colour didn't come with the second one, which I feel like they normally do. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm going to quickly chuck in some mascara. At least my lashes aren't looking half bad. Oh, my hair's drying so quick. I need to start doing it first. I used to, but I don't know why I stopped. Now it's run all puffy. That's okay. I'm going to do it in like a second. I got my eyebrows done the other day and they were desperately needing done. I love after I get them done there. They're just so easy to brush out and they just look perfect. Okay, I think that's it for my makeup. And now time to do my hair. Okay, my hair's basically done. I had to wet these bottom parts after. The makeup honestly isn't the worst. Could have been a lot better, but it's not the worst. Okay, I'm gonna spray some perfume. Anyways, I think that's it. I hope you'll have a great day. If last year you say to me, oh, what are your opinions on ice spice? I'd say, yes, eat it for lunch. If you were to ask me that very same question now, I'd say, ew. Your music is, it sounds the same. Every single song sounds the same and you don't disrespect Madeline like that, okay? Guys, I don't even know the full story straight. I just know that you don't do that to Madeline and nothing will ever, ever make me hate her, ever. Do you know what? What's really bothering me is their team calling up saying, oh, they don't have control over this. Last time I checked, we're all human and... You control your own body, your own actions. And last time I checked, aren't you the boss? Aren't you the one making the music? Aren't you the one this is all about? Like what? Anyways, Ice Spice, don't like you anymore. You used to be a massive fangirl, and now I'm flipping out. I don't know why I'm just coming for Ice Spice as if she hasn't got anything to do with this. I just snorted like a pig. Anyways, personally, I don't think Ice Spice will be around for much longer. Like her music isn't actually good like i'm not saying that because i don't like her like i noticed it like all her songs sound the same like they just sound the same anyways guys today i'm going to the traffic center to get myself some charlotte tilbury basically guys you know that new like charlotte tilbury like stick thing i can't get my comb and it's like you know the vibe okay, she has this new thing it's called like the sheer something something and i really want it and i went into selfridges like last week and i found it and i put like a little sample on my hand and literally the first one that i picked up and put on my hand was a color match it was like shade 11 or something and i took a picture of it so i remember the shade and then last night i went on sephora to go and order it and then i realized hold on a minute my hand is not the same shade as my face. Just look at that. My face is a lot dark. You can't really tell here, but in person you can actually tell. So then, obviously, I cancelled my order. And now I'm going today to test it on my face. So that I can buy it. And I'm just going to buy it straight there. Because the only reason I wanted to order on Sephora is because I thought I could get 15% off. But it turns out, Charlotte will be too posh to be getting 15% off on Sephora. So, yeah. Also, guys, for, like, the past three days, I've been going to traffic centre, like, every single day. And tell me why, in every single shop, everything is literally just on sale. I got these jeans, and they were supposed to be £30. I got them for £13. And I kept, when, and because I've been going, like, I went on Monday, I went Tuesday, I went Wednesday, I went Thursday. Every time I go into the same shops, all the stuff that was in there the day before has gone down to an even cheaper price. I literally went to Primark and got some pants for literally a pound and they're actually really nice so i'm like 12 pounds for a pound they was reduced to and it's just like whoa, overload so i bought the new semi-new rare beauty um blush which i wanted to like, try and do my makeup right now i'm not doing like loads of makeup there i'm just doing like a little bit like no foundation nothing like that because i don't really like foundation too much to be honest it's just me who doesn't like concealers that aren't the same color as my face like why is my face now suddenly lighter so i'm gonna put this darker one on now but I've had this for about three years yet, never been opened. So it's probably out of date, but like, I didn't know I had it. And now I have it. Now it's time for me to use my new blush. Real excited. Oh! I've heard that if you drop these, they break really easily. So I'm going to be extra careful. I can confirm. I love this more than the liquid one that they have. Oh my god, I didn't even realise that I got the liquid one and this one both in the shade Hope. That's pretty cool. 
because the blush is like a powder i really like having like my makeup looking glowy and then the powder just like ruins it but i'm just gonna have to do a little bit to blend it out i must say i never usually do my makeup but today i'm really liking it obviously charlotte tilbury setting spray boom i don't know don't ask me i don't know bye guys Mwah. Ready with me to watch a movie in the lake. Basically, it's the coolest thing ever. This is my first time going, but from what I can see, is it's this coffee shop on the lake. They have this giant screen and they project movies on. You can rent paddle boards or bring floaties to sit in. So you're literally watching it in water. I love this sun by me toner. It makes my skin so soft. Since we're gonna be in direct sunlight, I really need my makeup to sit in. So I'm using this sun by me miracle cream. The movie we're watching is Barbie, which I'm so happy about because I love Barbie. I think I'm gonna wear like a pink swimsuit. I'm so thankful they picked that and not some scary shark movie not like the lake even has sharks but sitting in water alone freaks me out since the water reflects light i'm using this sunscreen it's amazing before makeup because it's so lightweight like where is the white cast let me know this is a must to protect against summer heat anyways no i'm not going on a date although this would be such a good date idea i'm going with my friend sienna because we found this place on instagram and we're like shut up we have to go to i think she'll be here in like 30 minutes so i'm kind of getting nervous about it though do y'all think people fall into the lake surely there's like boats that go by which i assume would create a big wave having like 50 people sitting on paddle boards on the water i'm someone's bound to fall in i don't know if i want to be focused on that trying to keep my balance the whole time although it really would make things interesting so my base makeup looks so smooth today i think it's from this moisturizer y'all know i never have on beauty filter like it just it looks smooth i'm telling y'all korean skincare eats and some by me is especially good anyways makeup is done wish me luck that i don't fall in the lake i guys love you Hey guys, get ready with me for a 15 hour road trip. Technically, it's more than 15 hours because we're driving to Orlando. But we're making a stop somewhere in the middle. I think Gulf Shores, I don't know. I really never know what's going on in life. So I guess I'll just find out where we're at when we get to where we're at. Anyways, right now it's 5.30 and we're leaving my house at 7.00. But my dumb butt still hasn't packed yet, so I woke up a little bit earlier to do so. I got like two hours of sleep, and I fell asleep watching TikTok, so my phone is extremely hot right now. Also, I already got two snacks for the road trip, so here is what I got. The Takis are already open because I got hungry. Guys, starting today, school starts in one month. Which means I need to start getting into the routine of waking up at 3.30 every day again. Honestly, guys, I have no idea how I did it. Because right now I feel like I want to die and it's only 5.40. I just put a pimple patch on right now. So I deeply apologize if that bothers anybody. It probably bothers me more than you. Bro, my mascara is at that point right now where it's like not too wet but not too dry. Like it's at that perfect point. Okay, so only people with divorced parents are going to understand what I'm about to say. But I can't freaking stand when one side of, like, your family talks crap about, like, your dad or mom who isn't in the family anymore. Like, honestly, I just feel like it's so unnecessary. And, like, why do that in front of me? Or honestly, like, why do it, period? Like, just, I don't know. It's honestly just super annoying, and I think people need to be more considerate about it. For road trips, does anybody else, like, have their makeup, like, sit with them in the car and, like, they don't pack, and you don't pack it in your suitcase? I don't know if what I just said makes sense, but anyways, I hold my makeup in the car because I get bored and like to redo my makeup, which probably wastes a lot of product, but who cares? I bought every single product myself. I think that's something a lot of people don't know is that I'm genuinely not spoiled. Like, I am, but I'm not. By my grandparents, 100% I'm spoiled. But, like, in life, I'm really not. I buy everything with my own money. And honestly, I feel bad asking for basic necessities. I don't know why. Guys, I'm running out of the one-size setting spray, which is so annoying. Anyways, here's the fit. This is Lulu Garage. Yeah. Bye, guys. Everyone, get ready with me whilst I tell you things that I love. 
First of all, I love complimenting people. I just love telling people the things that I love about them. I don't know, it just brings me so much joy, especially if it's someone that like I don't even know if I'm in public and someone has like a really cute outfit on or if they smell really nice. I just like love telling them that. I love getting into bed with fresh sheets and you can just feel how like fresh they are and they smell so nice. I swear those are when I have like the best sleeps. I love getting ready in general, but more specifically, I love when you're on like holidays and you've been like tanning and swimming the entire day and then you just come home and get ready for dinner oh my god it's literally like the best feeling i love like laughing so hard till your stomach hurts or when you're having a sleepover with your friends and like it gets to that time of night where everything is funny the stuff that's happening isn't even funny but it's just like so funny i love when like your morning coffee or matcha just like hits the spot perfectly I love when people like send you a message to check up on you or ask how your day was. I think that it's the most sweetest thing ever and it always makes my day. I feel like this one kind of goes without saying but I love Pinterest. This one it kind of goes back to the laughing one but I just love seeing people laugh so much. Something about it that's so beautiful and it just makes me like so happy. I love when you have like such deep conversations with your friends when you like bond with someone over something that you like both love. I swear I could literally talk about this for the entire day. But anyways I hope you enjoyed. I love you all so much and I hope you have the best day. Hey y'all, get ready with me for my birthday party, but I'm in a rush. Okay, so if you watched my birthday haul, you know that, um, you know, my birthday was July 9th, but I'm having my actual birthday party today, and I'm so excited to see all of my friends, y'all. It's only gonna be, like, a couple girls, like, maybe, um, five or six, but I'm still, like, really excited, and we're going to this place called Top Golf. and mind you, I don't know how to golf, but we're gonna try and I know y'all are probably like, yo, why do you have this robe on? But, um, what's it called? I'm doing a get dressed with me today. And that's why I have my, you know, outfit right there. So, I'm going to, um, get dressed after I'm done doing my face. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some of these few drops from Glow Recipe. But, y'all, I'm so excited to see everybody. Top cough is so fun. But the only thing I don't like about it is that it's during summertime. So, it's going to be so hot well we're just trying to golf but you know it's okay we're gonna stay strong okay y'all um i got this for my birthday it's the charlotte Tilbury flawless filter and i've been so excited to use it okay it is a little bit dark but that is okay i'm gonna use this brush to blend it in but i've been so 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 excited see y'all it blended so good i've been so excited to use it i didn't even use that much so it's probably not even doing that much of a difference but I don't know, it's so cute. I honestly don't even like using a whole lot of like foundation like that anyways, so I'm okay with it not even being a lot. Okay, y'all, that concealer definitely just did its thing. Now I'm gonna go in with this um, e.l.f. Um, liquid blush and we're gonna hurry up and try to blend. I'm just trying to hurry up because I wanna be on time, obviously, because it's my party. Okay, now I'm going in with this Fit Me Power. We're gonna cover a little bit of this collage. Okay, I feel like I've been speaking like so low the whole video, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to speak a little bit louder. Okay, now we're gonna use this e.l.f. Lash and Roll. And y'all, they get rid of me that I make it right now. I did one like last year. I don't know if y'all remember because that was such a long time ago. It was like back in like May when I had my last account and I was still like around 40k. Or actually, I think it was around 100k. I don't even know what. That was such a get, get rid of me and I was with my friend Zarya, but I know her as Ticey. Okay, now I have to take some of this um, micellar water. I don't know why I picked the mascara back up, but I'm going to use some of this and just rub it right here because, of course, we made a little bit of a mess. Okay, y'all, make sure you go follow my Instagram, and um, I'm not going to tell you guys my get just to me account. I'm going to just have y'all find that on your own, but I'm going to go change. Okay, y'all, so here's the fit. The whole fit is from Lou, and my shoes are from Adidas, and my necklace is from Kendra's And now I'm going to hurry up and do my lip combo. It's currently 12.54, and I'm about to go pick up Tierra, and then we're going to go to the party. Okay, I don't know how to, like, like make my bag tighter, but I'm going in with this tart, and then we're going to do... Lip. Okay, I chose this one because it's one of my favorites. I think my favorite is like the red one. I forget the name of it. I think it's Jam Session. I don't know, but I think this one's Jam Session. I don't know, but it just looks good. Okay, love you guys so much. And I might post a couple videos while I'm at the party. Bye, guys. 
I'm flying alone to Europe. Um, so I'm getting ready right now. I leave my house in about two-ish hours, and I'm not done packing yet. I don't know if you can see, but my room is currently a mess, and I woke up feeling like garbage because I slept at like two in the morning. I mean, can you blame me? It was like my last night here for a while, so I obviously wanted to go out. Yesterday when I saw my boyfriend, I started crying because I'm gonna miss him so much. Literally about to like violently sob in a Chick-fil-A parking lot, bro, because I was so sad. Like two weeks is a long time, bro. Like, also, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm not um gonna wear any makeup to my flight because it's a long flight, like literally long flight, longest flight ever. So I really just don't feel like putting makeup on my face. I just want to be comfortable and somewhat at pace. So I'm literally gonna miss my boyfriend so much. Like, I'm literally gonna miss everyone so much. It makes me wanna like sob it's just like i'm not even gonna only miss my boyfriend like i'm gonna miss everyone i'm gonna miss like our going out group i'm gonna miss all my friends i'm gonna miss my mom like and it's making me like really sad like i've been going out with this group for like over a month now and you're telling me like i'm not gonna see them for like two weeks i woke up really early today i woke up at eight in the morning and i've been waking up at like 11 or 12 ever since summer started so okay proud of myself uh i'm gonna curl my lashes but i can't find my shiseido eyelash curler this is my makeup bag right now and i can't find it oh, hold on i found it um i also want to find my earring before i leave but i doubt i'll be able to find it okay low-key my lashes curled good i'm probably gonna like literally just throw on a hoodie put my hair up and listen to music for what nine hours i'm gonna finish packing because if i don't finish now i'm never gonna finish so i love you guys always and i'll see you guys in my next one wish me luck get ready we need to go find an outfit for the races which is tomorrow and yeah, we did organise this months ago. And yeah, my outfit should have been bought months ago. Um, however, it came yesterday and it wasn't in the condition that I wanted it to be. So off it pops. And now I'm going to have to go around Manchester and try that one. To be honest, call me deluded, but I don't think it's going to be that hard just because House of CB is in Manchester. So like, if you can't find a dress there, you can't find a dress anywhere. It's just a question of whether they'll have the dress or the colour that I want. Which is white. I'm going for all white. And on that note, where are my heels? Like, I literally got them Wednesday evening for next day, which meant that they'd be coming today, and I haven't received the notification to say that they're on the way. If I don't find a dress, the positive is I've saved, like, 200 quid. Because how to see me dresses are so expensive, but they're worth it, but they're so expensive. I've also got a brand new lip liner. Look how stunning. I really want to use it, but I'm going to use that little small thing. Also, how exciting is this? The Rode Pocket Blush. I'm going to be trying it out. It's coming next week. I bought it. £24 for that small blush, and then I had to pay £7 shipping, and it was like £31. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck, 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 fuck is going on there? A little bit late to this trend but let's talk about things i'm convinced people are lying about actually liking number one reading if you sit there and tell me you actually like reading a book i will think you're crazy i don't know how someone could read a book for hours on end that has to be the most boringest thing in the whole entire world the only book i'll ever read is the bible um and that's it i won't read any other book and number two the shoe golden goose i think it is i don't know how people are buying those and the amount of money that they are they're just really not that cute i probably would have worn those shoes when i was seven years old another one people are lying about is hiking or walking how do you like that like i just don't know maybe i'm just lazy but it has to be a really really pretty view for me to actually go on a hike if it's just a hike and there's nothing great to see then i'm just like what's the point like this is just so boring i'll choose 
use running over hiking or walking. I love running, but I don't know what it is about just hiking up mountains and all that stuff. I feel like a lot of people have said this one already, but black coffee. Black coffee is disgusting. Like my dad drinks that and he'll just enjoy it. And I'm just like, you have to be out of your mind. <laughs> it's just so bitter and like your breath afterwards, like when you take just one sip is absolutely ferocious. I just don't know why you wouldn't want like a little bit of cream in it or just like a little bit of sugar. Okay, another one is a foot massage or getting your toes done. Something about getting my toes done or getting my feet rubbed that is just so like it just makes me cringe thinking about it people massaging the bottom of my foot and like it makes me just so uncomfortable and then when they're like scrubbing with the scrubber and they're just like Ch -ch -ch, i just can't help but like laugh it's so embarrassing another one that a lot of people do and i'm probably i don't know if i'm just lazy i'm not lazy okay it's just working out really it's just so hard i work out like i try to i go to the gym and i'll do workouts but i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say that i like doing Doing it. It's just really annoying and like feeling the pain when you're doing it is just like I just hate it Although the next day when you're sore is a good feeling because you know that you worked yourself pretty hard Okay, another one is a cold plunge if you guys have done a cold plunge before and actually enjoyed that You must be like a little bit insane or even like enjoying a cold shower like truly an ice cold shower And you're just in there enjoying it. That is actually that's weird. That's so weird to me. I don't know. I just hate anything cold. I know there's a bunch of health benefits to it, but you cannot pay me $100 or more to get inside of one. I will run the other way. I'm sorry. Okay, this one's actually kind of random, and a lot of people, I don't know if you're going to relate to this one, but the taste of wine is absolutely terrible. I've tasted a sip of wine a few times in my life, and every single time, I'm sorry, it's just so bad. I know people that love it. Like, they love wine. They love just the taste of the, on their tongue and, like, the way you have to drink it and all this stuff. The taste is so terrible. I... Mm. Also, alcohol in general is just terrible. How does someone sit there and just sip on beer or anything else? There's no way you guys enjoy the taste of beer or whiskey or all these alcohols. Like, no way. Last one. This one is really, I feel like, controversial. Is that how you say that word? I'm bringing up my past life right now, you guys. So, this is old Haley. But in the past, I did drink, and the way that it made me feel was so bad. Being drunk is the worst thing ever, and I don't know why anyone likes it. I don't know why anyone is like, let's get drunk, let's feel tipsy. I just will never, ever, ever do that again. And the day after the way it makes you feel, why would you even want to do it? It's truly terrible. You feel so dizzy when you're drunk. At least me, I feel so dizzy. I just cannot focus and it freaks me out. My ways have changed and I am closer to God and the enemy is lurking and he will get you when you're most vulnerable, when you're drunk, when you're tipsy and that's when the most stupidest stuff happens. Just do yourself a favor and stay away from that. <laughs> I don't know, like nothing good happens when you're drunk. And it doesn't even feel good either. So I don't know why people even like it, honestly. Anyways, that is all of them. And let me know your thoughts on it if you disagree or agree.